The love story between the Malaysian king, Muhammad V, and the Russian beauty queen, Oksana Volvadena, ignited a global debate due to their stark differences. Surprisingly, the king relinquished his throne for their love, but just a few months later, he shocked everyone by divorcing her while she was pregnant. The aftermath of their separation and the revelations that followed were truly astonishing. Why did he abandon his beloved wife and their child despite his professed love for her? What secrets did the beauty queen conceal, and how is she faring after three years of divorce? Furthermore, what lies ahead for their unfortunate child? To discover the answers, make sure to watch the complete video. Don't forget to show your support by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and enabling notifications for future uploads. Let's delve into the captivating tale. Since assuming his role in 2016, the Malaysian Sultan garnered immense popularity among his people, serving as a symbol of Islam in the country. During one of his journeys, Sultan Muhammad crossed paths with Miss Russia 2015, despite their significant 23-year age difference. Despite the skepticism arising from their contrasting backgrounds, the Sultan fell in love, persuading Oksana to convert to Islam and marrying her in a clandestine ceremony to avoid public scrutiny. I promise to be a nice wife for you, and I promise to be a good mother for our future children, and I promise to love and be with you in happiness and in sadness. Thank you, my buddy. Uh, I'm your Chuburashka. And, uh, 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 you're my this unexpected union surprised everyone, as the 49-year-old king, a prominent and affluent figure, was expected to choose a royal Malaysian bride. Nevertheless, he chose a 26-year-old Russian model, Oksana Vajvadina, who had won the Miss Moscow pageant. Oksana's upbringing and education took place in Taganrog, a city in the Rostov Oblast of Russia. Her father worked as an orthopedic surgeon, while her mother was a concert pianist associated with the Bolshoi Theater. Oksana had even attended an Oxford summer school to enhance her English skills. Later, she pursued an undergraduate degree in economics at the Plekhanov Russian University of Economics in Moscow and eventually obtained a master's degree in management. As a beauty pageant contestant, she claimed the title of Miss Moscow in 2015, after which she received modeling offers abroad. One fateful day, while working at a luxury watch booth, Oksana encountered Muhammad, who was then the Sultan of Killington in Malaysia. Overwhelmed by the realization that she had met an actual king, she jokingly referred to herself as the Queen of Moscow. They subsequently met for dinner and engaged in extensive conversations. The king and the stunning queen exchanged phone numbers, communicating daily despite the logistical challenges posed by their geographical separation. Oksana had signed a new modeling contract, requiring her to work in New York. Taking this opportunity, the king invited her and her parents to visit Kuala Lumpur. Oksana was enchanted by Malaysia's beauty, and one evening, Muhammad declared his love for her, proposing marriage. Overjoyed, Oksana accepted. Prior to their union, the king had previously divorced the Thai princess in 2018. Thus, Muhammad V and Oksana became husband and wife, culminating in an opulent wedding celebration. The festivities commenced in Moscow before continuing in Malaysia, where Oksana embraced Islam, adopting the name Rihanna Petra. The ordinary girl had transformed into a princess, residing in the Kuala Lumpur Palace, akin to a modern-day Cinderella. However, the media began unraveling scandalous aspects of the beauty queen's past, which further incensed the Malaysian public. Revealing photographs from Oksana's participation in a reality show, Holidays in Mexico, surfaced, showcasing flirtatious interactions with men. In one episode, she was even filmed engaging in intimate activities with a man in a swimming pool. Outrage grew among Malaysians, prompting the Sultan to abdicate the throne after just 45 days of marriage, becoming the first Malaysian king to do so since the country's independence in 1957. The sultan and his wife then retreated from public life, seeking peace and stability. Unfortunately, the tranquility did not last long. Shortly after giving birth, Oksana found herself facing a sudden divorce. The king abruptly evicted her from the palace, forcing her to return to Russia. Devastated, she struggled to ascertain the true reason behind their separation. The news of their divorce sent shockwaves through the devoted followers of their passionate love story, with rumors circulating about the causes behind their split. 
However, the true bombshell came when the Sultan publicly questioned the paternity of their child and refused to acknowledge his own son. Oksana, desperate to prove the truth, challenged the Sultan to a DNA test and launched a media and social media campaign. Accusing him of betrayal and threatening to expose more facts about their relationship. In response, Sultan Muhammad V issued a statement refuting his ex-wife's allegations, dismissing them as falsehoods. He expressed deep regret over their ill-fated marriage. The former Sultan offered Oksana a financial settlement of approximately 275,000 pounds on the condition that she close all her social media accounts and raise their child with an Islamic upbringing while also preventing any future attempts to contact him. Oksana rejected this settlement proposal and demanded an end to the dispute, requesting an £8 million house in London, an apartment in Moscow, and a monthly salary of up to £24,000. Mohammed V sarcastically dismissed her demands, stating, Do you think I am Bill Gates? The conflicts between the ex-Sultan and the beauty queen persist as she seeks to establish her son's paternity through Russian courts. Today, their son, Leon, is already three years old, and he has never met his father. However, he bears a striking resemblance to him. Oksana continues to navigate life as a single mother residing in Great Britain. Despite misconceptions that the king provides for her lavish lifestyle, Oksana works as an investment advisor in a prominent real estate company, spending her days in the office and relying solely on herself for support. If one were to peruse her Instagram photos, they would discover a seemingly glamorous life with frequent trips to luxurious resorts and a wardrobe adorned with high-end fashion. Her son is growing up bilingual, fluent in both English and Russian. He often inquires about his father, causing great distress to his mother. Oksana shared her emotional response to such questions on her Instagram, recounting how she displayed London and Malaysia on a map to explain that his father lives far away and cannot visit. Oksana believes it is profoundly saddening when a father refuses to see his own child, regardless of the disagreements between the parents. This cautionary tale serves as a valuable lesson for all women, emphasizing the importance of education and self-reliance, even if one finds themselves married to a king. In a fleeting moment, everything can change. Now that you have gained insights into the shifting sentiments of the Malaysian Sultan towards Oksana from your perspective, please feel free to share your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video and desire more captivating content, remember to express your appreciation by leaving a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and enable notifications to receive updates whenever I upload new videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.